so under the session keys we again we have four types what are all those four types first uh, pairwise temporal key shortly uh, ptk okay then uh, gtk group temporal key names for uh, session keys then key confirmation key so we are going to see about uh, these things in detail in uh, next coming slides okay so pairwise temporal key this pairwise uh, temporal key are the working keys for usb data encryption are getting uh, so far we have seen long lived keys those are all pk public key symmetric keys session keys and one more key what is that connection key Next. now we are going to see about uh, session keys these are all uh, short lived uh, keys under this we are going to see four uh, types of uh, session keys first pairwise temporal keys these keys are derived uh, during a four way handshake the host maintains a separate ptk for every device connected uh, host uses this key to encrypt and decrypt all packets sent and uh, received from the device the device uses this key to decrypt all data packets received from the host and uh, encrypt all packets sent to the host are uh, getting what's happening here uh, we know the uh, uh, just uh, uh, again uh, recall that uh, state diagram the device state diagram in that unconnected state and connected state right in that connected state first we are going to uh, uh, first we have uh, uh, unauthenticated state in that state it will do some operation that operation is known as authentication operation that is nothing but four way handshake the ultimate idea of this four way handshake is to derive pairwise temporal key pair pairwise temporal key uh, uh, that means that key will be known only by that host and that intended devices device okay that's why it is known as pairwise key okay so what is the use of this key means it will uh, it will be used during the data transaction the data are encrypted uh, by using this key so this is a uh, short lived uh, key because this key will be used only for a uh, one session after that again a new key will be derived and the host and uh, particular device will use uh, that key to encrypt and uh, decrypt the uh, data right and one more important thing uh, here is each host device pair will have a unique encryption key this is nothing but pairwise temporal key okay in this uh, slide do you have any doubts pair means yeah pair wise uh, in i told two pair yeah host and device okay, okay. second uh, group temporal key from the name itself uh, you may guess what is that for example uh, for uh, some cases host may use a single key for some particular uh, type of packets so that some group of devices will use the same key to decrypt that uh, packet for example you, you remember that uh, mmc mmc is a broadcast uh, packet right so every device will going to receive that mmc yeah. so in that case that mmcs are encrypted by using this group key yeah. that set of devices that set of devices has same right group keys okay in that in case it will be useful yeah group key so the gtk is a specialized temporary key that is shared by all members of the current usb cluster it allows the host to send uh, secured messages in a broadcast manner such as an mmc okay. these messages are not encrypted but they still require an additional addition of mic the devices may not use a gtk for encryption only the host can transmit messages secured with a gtk that's all clear right okay the messages which host will send those are not encrypted do you want me to go back the messages which host will send towards devices the that message is encrypted one or not where the message which host will send uh, which point you are asking uh, 
since it's written it allows the host to send secured messages in a broadcast manner okay second point yeah it allows the host to send the secured messages in a broadcast manner mm. such as an mmc right yeah this secured messages means encrypted message or no 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 he, mmc is uh, we know two things right by using this aes 128 uh, 120 ccm uh, cbc mac we are going to do two things first one is we are going to encrypt the data first thing and uh, at last we are going to add some field that field is known as mic message integrity code it will keep the integrity of that check. yeah message integrity check uh, that field right so in order to do that also we are using mac 128 Okay